Last time we saw that if psi is a solution to the Schrodinger equation with an eigenvalue epsilon, then a dagger psi and a psi are also solutions to the Schrodinger equation, but this time different eigenvalues, either with raised eigenvalues or with lowered eigenvalues. This is the reason we called them ladder operators, because by applying a and a dagger, we can move up or down a step on this ladder. Now you might be wondering, is there an end to this ladder? Is there a lowest state or a highest state? Well, let's find out. So let's imagine there is a lowest state. Let's call this capital L. The requirement that it really is a lowest state is that if we apply the annihilation operator, on this lowest state, it does not yield another state, but it vanishes. So what kind of insight do we get from here? Well first, let's apply a dagger from the left side. This means on the left we have now a dagger a acting on our lowest state, and on the right we again have zero. We know we can write a dagger a simply as n, because a dagger a is a number operator. This means n acting on l is zero. It might not be obvious from here, but if we also add our lowest state to the right hand side, we can see that this lowest state obviously is an eigenstate to our number operator with an eigenvalue of zero. So let's call our lowest state zero. We see that the eigenvalue lambda is zero, and if you remember, epsilon, the energy, is lambda plus one half. So for our lowest state in the harmonic oscillator, we have epsilon is one half. So we have seen that the ladder stops at the bottom. But what about a highest state? Let's do the same calculations, but now we say that there is an highest state. Let's call it capital H. And our highest state is defined that we cannot raise it any further. So if we apply a dagger on our highest state, this has to vanish. To get some more information, we do a similar trick. We multiply this from the left with a, which leaves 0 on the right. Now, we can't replace a a dagger with a number operator, but what we can do is switch their places. So we can write this as a dagger a, acting on our highest state h, and then we have to add their commutator. Well, the commutator of a a dagger is plus 1. So plus 1 times our highest state, and this has to be equal to 0. Now we can subtract this term to the right hand side and replace a dagger a with a number operator. So n acting on our highest state is minus 1 times our highest state. And again, the highest state is an eigenvector of the number operator. But wait, there is a negative eigenvalue. This cannot be because earlier we saw that lambda equal to 0 is our lowest state. So a lambda being equal to minus 1 would be even below this lowest state, and that cannot be. So we see there is no highest state in the harmonic oscillator.